Hi everyone, before we get started on this tutorial, I just want to go over a few basic steps. Step one, what we're going to do is copy some code from my blog post, and we're going to paste it into a notepad file on your Windows machine, or your text pad file if you're using Mac. Please do not use Microsoft Word, because that editing program could accidentally screw up the code. Number two, modify the text in Notepad. We're just going to change the company name. That's it. Step three, we're going to paste that code into a file in your thesis theme called customfunctions.php. It's a lot easier than it looks. It's really quite simple, and we're done with the first half. Step four, we're just going to repeat steps one and two. So you're going to copy some code into Notepad, modify a little bit, and then step five, paste that code into the custom.css file. Then you are done. Step six. To get to my blog, go to jupitergym.com, and there'll be a link to my blog at the top of that web page. And my blog is actually at jupitergymsmarketingteam.com. Okay, let's get started. Hi, everyone. This is Jupiter Jim from jupitergym.com, and I'm at my demonstration blog, which is WordPress version 3.1.0, and I'm using the thesis theme version 1.0. Eight, and you need to be using some version of the thesis theme in order for this video tutorial to apply to you. Now we're going to scroll to the bottom and I'm going to show you how to add the copyright to the footer of every page of your blog site. Now what we're looking at right here circled in red it's called and starts with the word get smart that's called the thesis theme attribution. Now if you are not a developer, a thesis theme developer. If you didn't pay extra money for that option, you need to leave the thesis theme attribution at the bottom of your footer. Now, I can still show you how to add the copyright as long as you leave the thesis theme attribution in there. Now, if you did pay extra for the developer's option for the thesis theme, then you can take that attribution out and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to click on this tab, and this brings me to the dashboard of Jim's marketing team where I've already logged in. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to click down at the bottom of my screen, and I'm just going to open up a file that contains some code that you're going to need to copy and paste. You can find this code to copy and paste. It's going to be at my blog address, jupitergymsmarketingteam.com. Now, if you don't feel like spelling all that out, all you need to do is just go to jupitergym.com, and at the very top of that website, you'll see the link to my blog. Okay, before I highlight all this text to copy it, I'm just going to let you know that this part, everything that I'm highlighting right here, you can modify so you put in your own company name. You'll probably want to leave the copyright there. There's probably no need to change that. So you'll leave this highlighted right here. And you can also highlight these four digits for the start date of the copyright. You can make that 2000, 2002, 2010, whatever. But that's the, those are the only two parts of this code that I would mess with if I were you. Okay, so we're just going to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to press Control C to copy, Command C in a Mac. That's the Command key plus the C key. I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to scroll down to where we have the tab for thesis. Click on Custom File Editor. I'm going to make sure I go over to where it says Custom Functions.php. Click edit selected file. Now at the very top you can see this message with the uh, gold background. This is not a formality. You really should, you almost need to have an FTP program to access these files, the custom underscore functions.php file and later the custom.css file because if anything happens to the code in this file right here you can be off by just one character and your whole website can crash. Now if you have an FTP connection to those files you can just FTP upload the, the backup copy and everything will be fine. Without that FTP program and the backup copy on your computer, you're going to be in for a very nightmarish situation. So make sure you 
have FTP access to this file and make sure that you back that file up. Okay, so let's scroll down to the very bottom, just at the very bottom somewhere, just click. I'm going to click there. I'm going to press Control and then V as in Victor, Control V, and that leaves the code in that I just copied from the notepad file. Click the big save button. Now I'm going to go up here, right click, open link a new tab, scroll down, and we can see everything worked perfectly. So this is where you're going to, at the top, you're going to put your company name, all rights reserved, copyright 1996 to 2011. 2011, the latest year will automatically be generated at all times. You just put in whatever year you want for that. Now you can see I've left the thesis theme attribution down here in the link to DIYthemes.com because in this case, for this example, I don't do not have the developer's option. Next thing I'm going to do is show you how to add the CSS code so we can change the color of the text and center this footer. So I'm going to open back up to the notepad, scroll to the very bottom, copy the CSS code. Before I do that, I want to let you know that I've got the center here, the word center. You can keep it at right or left for instead of center. The color, I'm going to show you how to do that. That's the hexadecimal code for the color. And you can put whatever font family you want in here. You can use Verdana, Times New Roman. If you do use Times New Roman, make sure you use quotes. You can look all this CSS coding up on Google if you want to make changes. Note that the color I have here for the text is the same color I have down here. This is for the hypertext links. Okay, so I'm just going to highlight this, control C, deselect, minimize the screen, back to the dashboard. Right up here where it says custom functions, I'm going to go to custom CSS, click edit selected file. Once again, I can just scroll to the bottom of that file. Just put my cursor at the very bottom, Control V or Control Victor to paste Command V on a Mac. And right here where I told you we've got to change the color, you can just click down here and copy and paste whatever hexadecimal code for the color. Just make sure you leave that pound sign or hash mark there. I'm going to click the big ass save button. I'm going to right click here, open link a new tab. Hopefully it got centered and the color changed. It didn't, and I'm glad it didn't, because this can happen to you as well. You can try to hit refresh a couple of times. Sometimes it just takes time for this to happen. So there it is. So I clicked it again. So there's company name. Everything's centered. The link stays that lavender or purple color. Last thing I'm going to show you is how to get rid of the thesis theme attribution. So back down here. Scroll up here. This is the code for the developer version. And that means you paid for the developer version and you have the legal right to get rid of the thesis theme attribution. Back to dashboard. Back to custom functions.php. Click edit selected file. Scroll down here. I'm going to delete everything that I just pasted a second ago because this code is slightly different, obviously. Control Victor to paste, or Control V, Command V on a Mac, or just right click and paste, whatever is easiest for you. We're clicking the big S save button, but a boom, I'm going to right click here, open link a new tab. And if everything went smoothly, that thesis theme attribution will be gone. And it's not. So I'm just going to hit refresh again. I'm glad it's happening to me in this demonstration because this is exactly what's going to happen to you. Sometimes another way to make sure that the code sticks is to go back and just log out for some reason. And then it back to Jupiter Gym's marketing team. For some reason that just makes it work sometimes. It updates the code. And as you can see, that's exactly what happened right there. 
And that's all there is to changing the copyright at the bottom of your thesis theme WordPress blog. Thanks so much. Please, if there's a like button under this video, please click it, add your comments, and please subscribe to my blog, jupitergymsmarketingteam.com, so you can get the latest updates for all my videos. Thanks a million, and have a great day.